He's a third grade teacher by day and a volunteer for the honor flight by night and weekends. But he's not just helping out, he's leading these missions. You'll find out why in this week's edition of Siouxland Stories. Meet Aaron Van Beek. Can we do that? Can we handle that? He teaches at Kinsey Elementary School in Sioux Center, but he's also the president and director of the Midwest Honor Flight. And he's the youngest in the country with that title. I actually reached out to the national group, and the first thing I said was, well, is being 20 years old, is that, is that too young to, to do this? And they're like, no, it's just the youngest we've ever had. So we got signed up. Now we cover the state of South Dakota, Northwest Iowa, and Southwest Minnesota. Van Beek's been at the helm since 2017. To date, have flown 528 veterans, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, over six different flights. And each flight takes an army of donors and volunteers to get off the ground, literally. For one day, to send 84 veterans, it costs $150,000. Um, so that funding is a huge piece of what makes Honor Flight work. And that's, thankfully, we've had donations from um, businesses, from organizations, from families, from sponsors. Um, we do do some fundraising on our own. They've even partnered up with the Sioux City Musketeers hockey team for their military appreciation night, raising a record $55,000 a few weeks ago through the jersey auction. We're 100% volunteer, so um, any time that any of our board members, any of our volunteers spend on this, it's, it's all after hours, but it's, it's well worth it. That way we can make sure that all the money we receive, all the money we fundraise, all the money that's donated goes directly towards these flights and honoring our veterans. After all, that's what Van Beek says the day is all about. Early in the morning, we charter a plane out of Sioux Falls directly to Washington, D.C. Um, spend about 10 hours there. Um, these, these guys, they uh, get to see just about everything that there possibly is to see between the memorials, between Arlington, um, a lot of the, the monuments that are out there, too. Unlike many directors who head up a regional honor flight program, Aaron himself never served, but his family is no stranger to the military. Three of my great grandpas all served in the, uh, World War II, uh, two in the Army and then one in the Army Air Corps. Um, and unfortunately, no, none of them actually got to go and see their memorial. Um, and, and in fact, two of them passed before there was even talk of a memorial, and then one passed away about a year before the actual dedication. And so he says volunteering is his way of showing his appreciation for the sacrifice all veterans have made. I love teaching. I love what I do. Um, teaching pays the bills, and on our flight I get to volunteer for and, and spend the time, and, and um, it's just as rewarding, I think, as teaching. And all of the stories I hear, all the letters, all the cards that we receive as an organization after the flights take place, um, it's, that's what keeps it going. That's what keeps it going. That's what <laughs> keeps my, <laughs> my tears flowing when I go back through and read them, too, because it's, it's just as emotional. Um, for us as a board, seeing that this means so much, I might even start tearing up now, but um, it means so much to these, these men and women that were you know, so willing to you know, give their life for the freedoms of, that we have today, but also the oppressed around the world. Van Beek says right now in our region, roughly 800 veterans are on that waiting list to go once flights can resume post-pandemic. If you'd like to volunteer, you're asked to contact Midwest Honor Flight directly. And if you know someone with a unique talent or a passion, we'd like to know them as well so we can share their stories with the rest of Siouxland. Simply email us news at kcautv.com and we can share their stories here every Thursday on your KCAU 9 News at both 5 and again at 10.